good morning children hearty welcome to all of you hope all are doing good okay children today in this session i will be discussing the second half of the lesson making right choices so as usual before moving ahead with the new portion let's have a look at the topic that i taught you in the last class that means the first half of the lesson making right choices so in our last class we discussed the life of akila who is akila a small girl what happened to her her father died because of excessive alcohol consumption his friends encouraged him to drink and make merry so what's the result he lost his job later his life and his family members became miserable in their lives and it led him to death so what happened to him children yes he lost his job later his life as well as his families became miserable life became miserable and it led him to death yes he wasted his life without doing any responsibility to his family isn't it he deserted them on the path of the journey of life he couldn't do anything to his wife and daughter that was the condition of akila akila couldn't get herself to cry for her loss what's the reason children yes the dreadful addiction had burned himself and his family on that funeral pyre okay so today i'm going to discuss the factors that leads a person to alcoholism and substance abuse so let's move on to the new portion life is full of choices our choices determine our future so it is important to make informed and the right choices starting from a young age there is a famous native american fable about an old cherokee indian who told his grandson about a battle that goes inside people he said my son the battle is between two wolves inside us all one is evil it is danger envy jealousy sorrow regret greed arrogance self pity guilt resentment inferiority lies false pride superiority and ego the other is good it is joy peace love hope serenity humility kindness benevolence empathy generosity truth comparison not comparison children sorry compassion and faith the grandson thought for a minute and then asked his grandfather which will wins the old cherokee simply replied the one you fee okay children let's see the explanation of this paragraph children it's a very important paragraph okay listen as we know life is full of choices see after 2 years that means after your 10th class you have to take choices or you have to take decisions for your subject after 10th class uh, you will move on to plus 2 course so there you have to select a subject science humanities commerce a lot of subjects are there so you have to select one subject for your continuous studies so there also you have been stick to choices okay so life is full of choices so our choice determine our future so it is important to make a right choices from your young age itself did you understand children it's very important in your life to make a right choices see here is a famous american story it's about an old cherokee indian who told his grandson about a battle that goes on inside people so here is a story here is an american story so it's told by an old cherokee indian what do you mean by cherokee children cherokee means a member of an important native american tribe 
a member of an important native american tribe so once an old cherokee indian told a story to his grandson about a battle that goes on in each and every human being okay so let's see what's the story he said the cherokee indian said my son the battle is between two wolves inside a soul see there is a battle going on in between two wolves inside us all or inside all the human beings one is evil and the other is good you know what is evil that is anger envy jealous sorrow regret greed arrogance inferiority complex superiority complex ego lies everything is there see everything is evil not good the other is good it is joy peace love hope serenity humility kindness benevolence all these are good qualities so after hearing the story the grandson thought for a minute and he asked a question to his grandfather what said which wolf wins good or evil then what's the reply given by that old man the old cherokee simply said the one you feed what do you mean by that children the one you feed that means the one you follow if you follow evil qualities like anger envy jealous it will win if you follow the good qualities like joy peace love hope serenity compassion faith it will survive or it will stick on to your life did you understand the word the one you feed that means the one you takes in okay you know what's the meaning of feeding so this is such a simple story but it holds a clue to the choices we make every single day of our lives if we surround ourselves with the good thoughts and positive influences it will show up in your character habits behavior in a positive way if all that surrounds us is negative and evil like a acid it will slowly corrode our being and render our lives completely useless so how can we feed the good wolf to make the right choices we should also be aware and conscious of the pitfalls that await us in this journey of life so children it's a very simple story but there is a message in that story so what is that message children let's see this is such a simple story but it holds a clue to the choices that we make every single day of our lives so it's about our choices it's about our right choices okay so what's it if we surround ourselves with the good thoughts or positive influences it will be in your character it will show up in your character or habits or behavior in a positive way see if you all surrounds with negative thoughts or uh, negative influences or evil influences so what will be the result children it will slowly corrode what do you mean by children corrode it will slowly corrode means it will slowly destroy our cells it will show it will destroy our life so how can we feed the good wolf to make right choices so in order to feed the good wolf we have to make a right choices we should be aware of we should be conscious of the uh, deep pits that await in our journey of life so did you understand children so we have to make a right choices otherwise uh, we will fell into the pit that await us in this journey of life i hope you understood these two paragraphs children it's very important you have to imbibe the right values the moral values in your lives too okay so the next one is peer group what do you mean by children peer group peer group means a group of people of approximately the same age status and interest so a group of people of approximately the same age same status or same interest so this is what is the first factor that leads to alcoholism and substance abuse so now let's move on 
to describe or to discuss the first point or the first factor or the biggest factor one of the biggest factors that leads to alcoholism or subject not subject substance abuse see listen so one of the biggest factors why young people stray into an addiction is because of their friends sad but true the need to fit into a group is a basic need for each individual so at times we find it difficult to say no to our friends if your friends are doing cigarettes drugs or alcohol it is a very bad idea to stick around them you would not be able to resist them for too long you would not be able to talk to them out of their habit too so if you really want to help your friends talk to your parents or teachers or let them know avoid the danger of peer pressure and you will come out a stronger human being so as i told you children this is one of the biggest factors why young people move into an addiction stray means here in this context stray means move move into an addiction because of their friends so the first or the uh, one of the biggest factors that leads to addiction that is because of their friends it's true children the need to fit into a group is a basic need friendship is very important hmm? if you have no friend it's too bad so the need to fit to a group or the need to fit into a group is a basic need for each individual but sometimes it will be a difficult for you to say no to your friends but we should have the courage to say no to our friends otherwise our friends will spoil our life so if your friends are doing cigarettes drugs or alcohol if your friends are using cigarettes drugs or alcohol it's a very bad idea to stick around them so it's a very bad idea to uh, move on with the, that friendship you know you would not be able to resist them but you have to uh, talk to them to your family to your parents or to your teachers and let them know so what should you do children uh, if you see your friends are doing cigarettes drugs or alcohols so first of all uh, you have to talk to your family or you have to talk this to your friends good friends or teachers or your parents and let them know about this you have to avoid the danger of peer pressure what's the meaning of avoid the danger of peer pressure that means you should have the courage to help your friends so if you want to help your friends you should have the courage to say or to talk about these things to your family or to your parents or to your teachers or to your mentors what do you mean by mentors mentors means advisors so if you really want to help your friends talk to your parents or teachers then avoid the danger of peer pressure what's the meaning of avoid the danger of peer pressure yes you know you are afraid to talk to these things to your parents or to your teachers but you should have the courage to say or to talk to these things to your friends or to your good friends or to your family members especially to your parents and teachers because it's a good idea to help your friends or those who are addicted in cigarettes drugs or alcohol so avoid the danger of peer pressure you should have the courage to come out of that friendship you don't have any fear about your friends you should have the courage to talk to talk to your friends talk to your good friends especially to your parents or teachers and let them know the things then only you can save your friends those who are addicted in cigarettes and drugs or alcohol okay so let's move on to the next factor curiosity curiosity is a natural human instinct but don't let it get the better of you in this matter it is better to bypass this hazard at all times one try one puff one drink is all it takes it to get hooked for the long run you have the common sense not to plunge your hand into the fire to find it out if it is hot so then be sensible while choosing what to experiment with curiosity and experimentation can lead a person to have their uh, first taste of alcohol or 
substance which will lead them gradually to dangerous addiction. This passage from the novel Junkie by the American novelist William S. Burroughs says it all. The question is frequently asked, why does a man become a drug addict? The answer is that he usually does not intend to become an addict. You don't wake up one morning and decide to be a drug addict. I tried it as a matter of curiosity. I ended up hooked. Most addicts I have talked to report a similar experience. They should, did not start using drugs for any reason they can remember. They just drifted along until they got hooked. Okay, children, uh, let's see. So, the second important point that leads to a serious addiction, that is what is curiosity. You know what is curiosity. So, curiosity, what do you mean by curiosity? Yes, it's a human instinct. What do you mean by instinct? It's a natural tendency to know about something. That is what is curiosity. Curious means to know more about something. So here, curiosity is a natural human instinct. So curiosity is a natural tendency to know something more about something. But don't let it get the better of you in this matter. It is better to bypass this hazard at all times. One try, one puff, one drink. Have you seen the picture, children? Yes, one puff from a cigarette, one drink from a bottle of alcohol. So one try. So that's enough to get you hooked for the long run. So children, you should have the common sense not to plunge your hand into a fire. What's the reason? Yes, you have the common sense uh, not to touch fire. As we know, if you touch fire, it will burn our fingers. Okay, so then be sensible while choosing what to experiment with. Curiosity and experimentation can lead a person to have their first taste of alcohol or substance which will lead them gradually to a dangerous addiction. Sometimes it might be a cigarette or it might be a kind of drug or even a glass of alcohol. It leads them gradually to dangerous addiction. Okay, so what is the second point that leads to dangerous addiction children? That is curiosity. So you have the common sense. You should be sensible while choosing what to experiment with. Clear? So let's see. Here is a passage from a novel named Junkie. It's written by an American novelist, William S. Burroughs. So let's see what he he's trying to say. So the question is frequently asked, why does a man become a drug addict? Or how does a man become a drug addict? The answer is simple. He usually does not intend to become an addict. Hmm? He usually uh, does not intend. He doesn't have any intention uh, to become an addict. You don't wake up one morning and decide to be a, a drug addict. I tried it as a matter of curiosity. See, this is what is the answer uh, given by each and every drug addict. I tried it as a matter of curiosity. I ended up hooked. Most addicts I have talked to report a similar experience. So each and every addict or each and every person who gradually became dangerous addicts, they have talked or they gave a similar experience. What is that experience children or what is that answer given by each of them? Yes, they did not start using drugs for any reason. They do not remember any reason why, why I started to use drugs or why I started to use or why I started to consume alcohol. So they did not start using drugs for any reason they can remember. They don't remember any reason. Uh, why do I start uh, like this? They just drifted along until they got hooked. So just, just for their curiosity, they started using alcohol. Uh, they started using cigarettes like that. So slowly they drifted into that dangerous addiction. Okay, 
then the next point is circumstances you know what it is circumstances yes life is not perfect you might feel depressed and miserable at times you may feel that you do not get the success and attention you deserve very often there might be problems at home or at school but neither alcohol nor any other drug can magically solve any of these issues what all of these drugs do is worsen your depression coordination judgment reaction time the best solution to work out issues is to talk it to out with your parents or teachers or mentors so again the same point so children listen circumstances yes we know life is not at all comfortable life is not perfect problems are there so you might feel depressed and miserable at times you may feel that you do not get any success in your life or you do not get any attention from your parents or from your teachers very often there might be problems at home or at school but neither alcohol nor any other drug can magically solve any of these issues so did you understand children it's very simple life is not perfect problems will be there so sometimes we feel that we are so depressed or sometimes we feel that life is very miserable but neither alcohol nor any other drug can magically solve these problems so what of all these drugs do is worsen our depression our coordination our judgment or our skills so it destroy the usage of alcohol or the usage of any other drug it will create more problems to our life it will increase our depression it will destroy our organizing power it will destroy our judgment power whether to do right or wrong so the best solution to work out issues is to talk it out with your parents or teachers or mentors mentors as i told you the meaning of mentor is advisor <coughs> or guide so the best solution if you have any problem or if you feel depressed or if you feel miserable at times of your life the best solution to work out issues is to talk it out with your parents or to your teachers or any advisor that you like okay children so let's move on to the uh, next one influences the last point is influences so the books we read the music we listen to and the movies we watch all slowly influence the choices we make so if our influences constantly endorse the use of drugs alcohol or violence through words or images after some time we too would be convinced that it's okay and would do as no harm feeding the evil wolf will help it win easily so check for yourself what you are feeding your soul and cut out all that uploads destructive behavior so the last point is influences see the books we read the music we listen to or the movies we watch all slowly influence the choices It's all all these things the books we read the music we listen to or even the movies we watch all these things slowly influence the choices we make like a friendship like friends like a friendship the books we read the music we listen to and the movies we watch all these items slowly influences our life too so if our influences constantly endorse the use of drugs see if our influences constantly what do you mean by constantly continuously endorse means support so if these influences constantly continuously support the use of drugs alcohol or violence through words or images so after some time uh, we will think that it's okay it will do no harm to my life but feeding the evil wolf will help it win easily children feeding the evil wolf do you remember the story of the indian cherokee yes feeding the evil wolf it's easy to feed evil wolf to our souls 
so we have to check it we have to stop ourselves we have to think what we are feeding our soul if we are feeding so if we identify that if we are feeding the evil wolf to our soul so cut it all that uploads destructive behavior so you have to stop you have to check yourself whether i am feeding my soul the evil wolf or the good wolf so if you identify uh, that you are feeding your soul the evil wolf then you have to cut out all that supports you have to destroy or you have to stop all that uploads destructive behavior so what's the meaning of upload children show approval so if you identify that if you are feeding evil wolf to your soul you have to uh, stop that destructive power or you have to cut out uh, that destructive behavior did you understand so which are the factors that uh, leads you to destructive addiction so the first one is peer group the uh, second one is curiosity and the third one is circumstances and the last one the fourth one is influences children i hope you understood this lesson so it's a, a lesson full of moral values you have to imbibe you have to select or you have to study these matters and keep it in your mind it will be good for your uh, better life okay then something for you to do what would you do if your best friend offered you alcohol cigarettes or any other drugs write down how would you react to the situation did you get the question children so uh, what would you do if your best friend offered you alcohol or any cigarettes or any other kind of drugs i know you have the courage to say no to your friends children you should have the courage to say no to your friends even if it's your best friend okay so write down how would you react to this situation i'll give you the question as an assignment so children don't forget try to write all the questions and send it to me in my whatsapp without fail i hope you understood this lesson okay children thank you so much have a nice day